my mess of an appearance, holy hell, just noticed that there's a giant bird turd on my window over there. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna clean that. I'm up on the third floor. Well, that's the problem for a different day. <clears throat> Hey, Leonidas, you wanna come say hi to the people? Come here, come say hi to me, come, come, come. Somebody got a fresh haircut. Look how cute him's look. That's a nugget, that's a good nugget. It's still quite echoing here. I was gonna go pick up this one carpet for this room, and then the guy randomly was like, I'm leaving town tomorrow for two weeks on Facebook Marketplace, and I was like, oh, sick. I definitely didn't need one before then, but hey, I'm cheap and I don't wanna spend that much on a carpet, especially since I'm gonna spill makeup and fucking protein shake all over it. We all know it, you and I both know it. That's just the reality of my life. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of a mess right now because I'm freshening up my hair color with Frosé by Arctic Fox, my hair color line. Let's kill two birds with one stone and I'll film while this is sitting in my hair. You're also gonna hear crickets because all my reptile stuff is right there. Okay, so before I moved to Nashville, I had so many issues. I was going through a divorce. I had my identity stolen freaking twice. That was a part-time job getting that taken care of anyways. That's a broken record. I've talked to you guys about it before. Point is, I haven't been alone in my home since I lived in Carlsbad. That's before October. And I've had people at my house from then until even today and tonight and tomorrow and the next night someone will be sleeping in my house. So um, I've kind of like, I'm, th I'm the type of person that has never really done well with roommates. Like I really love my alone time. I feel like I've been in this weird funk where like I wanna film. First of all, my filming area hasn't been really set up till now, it's barely even usable. But uh, I've been doing my best over here, so I'm trying to stay positive. So I felt like I've been in this funk because in my house, like you can hear my voice all the way on the first floor. And so like, I'm not super Super comfortable filming when I know somebody can hear me. So my housekeeper moved out to Nashville with me and I was like, hey, you can stay at my house for a couple months. Will you find a place? And she's the best. She's the best. She's so rad. She takes care of all my pets too. When I'm out of town, you always ask who takes care of them. She does. And she's just really a great lady. However, I really love my alone time and Nick was here and I was ho I was like, yes, I have a week because she was supposed to have moved out by now. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a weekend where I could just film and like zone out and like no time limits. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna like get back to what I love to do. She didn't move out when she was supposed to and so as much as I love her, I'm just, my space is being so cramped right now and I really need my own space again. And so that is one reason, that is the main reason why I haven't really been filming and putting out a lot of videos. So that was the world's longest intro ever. I just thought I would give you guys, I feel like I can talk to you guys and it's nice to see you again. It's been at least a month since I put a video up on this channel. So hopefully we can keep these coming out more regularly. Nancy will be finding a new place soon so I can have kind of my creative space back, which will be really, really lovely. Today I wanted to do a video kind of following Raw Beauty Christie's video where she did like movie magic makeup. I just thought it was a really cool concept and like her, I've always watched videos like Titanic and all that where they just look like they have literally no makeup on. And I'm just like looking like I, I like I want to pull out a magnifying glass and just I'm like staring at their skin and their eyebrows and it looks like they literally have have not a trace of makeup on their face. And I, I've always wondered that too. I'm like, do they just have amazing skin and like look that crazy? I have pores. I have uneven skin tone. I popped this pimple this morning, if we're honest. And I've got a scar on my chin. And so I'm just like thinking to myself too while I'm watching these videos, I'm like, how the hell do they look so perfect? So I think a lot of it, like Chrissy said, is like makeup magic. And a lot of it also is CGI type stuff. They actually can Photoshop your skin in a video. Just like we can put filters on our skin in YouTube videos, they can actually do that and remove certain things. Like if I, if they wanted to remove this little mark on my face right here, they could totally do that in a movie. I just was really intrigued by Christy's video. I thought it was really rad. And so we're gonna follow her video today. And I even went out and bought this RCMA palette right here to use. And I wanna kind of like use this just the way that she did and see like if we can follow that and see what we come up with and see how I look because I've never done makeup like this on myself. It's usually like this or like a shit ton of makeup. First things first, I'm gonna actually use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Darkness right here and some sun spots. 
I also have scarring down here. So these are the palettes that I'm gonna Me be too. using today. These are the RCMA foundation palettes. Now, I do have a bit of redness. This is a freckle that I always darken. People are like, oh yeah, you give yourself a fake beauty mark. Well, no, it's a freckle. All of this is not active acne. It is like where I've had acne spots or freckles or et cetera, just kind of uneven skin tone. So I have a feeling that's kind of what I'll be trying to uh, like cover up today in this. So I've seen makeup artists use these palettes before and they use this batch like Christy says and I've seen them put it on the back of their hand because it kind of starts to melt the product down a little bit and then they put it on their face so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab out what I think it's my little sh speech so I got a little bit of that on there and it and Christy grabbed just a really small um, kind of flat brush like this. So I'm gonna use this guy and I'm just gonna mix these together. She started to kind of just paint this on her nose. So I'm just gonna kind of follow what she's doing. And how much she buffs each product into the skin. So it looks like she, go, she goes through and does like her whole face. I actually did kind of over on this side, but I'm gonna kind of focus on this side of the face so that we can kind of see a little bit like where we're at. So I'm just kind of covering up some of the redness you can kind of see right there. So far, I think it's pretty good. Like it's not very obvious that I am wearing makeup, at least at all in person. It's very natural looking. This really does just look like my skin. Okay, this is looking really good actually. Like we, there's a little bit more to cover up here and I'm having a hard time covering that up, but honestly, like this looks pretty good. Like I'm gonna keep going with this. Up close and personal. Just don't think of it that you know that there's makeup on here. Does it just look like I maybe have perfect- You can't really tell that there's makeup on here. Like you might just think my skin is very even, but then, you see this side and you're like, okay, yeah, probably not so much. So I'm gonna continue and see what we come up with here. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I think I could keep going a little bit further, but I think overall this looks pretty even and pretty like natural. So we're gonna move on to powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bit of the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder just to kind of set this since it is a cream. It doesn't really ever dry down. Um, I am going to just lightly set my face with this powder. So next, Christy's filling in her brow. She's actually using the Brow Blade, which is my favorite brow product at the moment. And I'm gonna use, um, just like Christy's using the ink stain side, just to try and kind of fill in like a bit more hair here, I guess. And I'm not really gonna like extend my brows too much or do anything of that sort. Movies and film, I was looking at their brows and they're so understated, they're just, they're not something you'd ever think to look at on their face. They're not bad, they're just nothing that you would ever be like, oh, I like her eyebrows. It's not like that at all. I feel like this is so hard to make look natural on me because I just don't have a lot there. I think I already kind of messed this up because this is like, it's kind of warm looking for my brows, I feel like. If I was in a movie and they were doing my makeup super natural, they would definitely be adding a bit more to this area because I just sadly wasn't blessed with the best eyebrows. You should see my mom's eyebrows. She like basically doesn't have any. Sorry mom, love you. I'm gonna take also the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I also have a discount code for ColourPop, which will give you a nice discount. I will put it on the screen because I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I thought it was just Kristen, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because I feel like it might help conceal some of these little pencil lines. I kind of failed with the eyebrows. I feel, I feel, I can definitely tell that I have eyebrow makeup on and I'm sure you guys can too. Well, this was an experiment. I don't think there's any going back from here. I think we just have to move forward. <laughs> okay, so it looks like she went in with a really light contour shade. So I'm gonna go ahead in with the Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette, because honestly, this is what was closest to me. And I'm gonna go in with beige light right here and just take a tiny amount of that and kind of do exactly what she was doing. She put it on the very edge 
very edge here and a little bit in the crease just to give some dimension back to the eyelid area so we don't look so flat. Then we're gonna go back to the RCMA palette. I personally probably would have done this step prior to the powder, but I actually forgot about it till now, so maybe she did too, I don't know. I am not. <laughs> Turns out I'm not good at doing really light makeup, gal. But it's like a challenge in a really fun way. I like this. By the way, this elf brush is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see. For blush, I'm gonna stick with like the cream group and I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Silver Lake Sunset. Just take a little bit of this on the brush like so. Just add some of this on there. If I was not wearing makeup, naturally you would see a little bit of the blush tones in my cheeks. So I'm just gonna put that kind of back in there. Then in one of the scenes from the holiday, she said, fairy kiss. And she's like, and a fairy kiss it is. You know, so they, they acknowledge she's wearing lipstick. And I don't have fairy kiss, but it literally looks like a lip balm. It doesn't look like she's wearing any sort of fairy kiss. And I'm just gonna put a teeny tiny little bit of lip balm on, like a teeny teeny tiny and then I'm going to tap out majority of Christy says that she like in the movie she was talking about they acknowledge that she's wearing lipstick so or some sort of something on her lips so we're just gonna draw this in here my lips have been so flippin chapped lately Ugh. and then I'm gonna just take a little bit of gloss like she does this is the ColourPop so juicy plumping gloss in true life it's just this really nice little shade I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on here. Wow, I never, I've never worn such little makeup. It's so crazy. Okay, so we're done here. This is where I'm gonna leave this. Um, and I'm gonna take a look close up. Initially, right off, like uh, right off the bat, I have eyelash extensions. So that immediately takes this to the next level, I feel like. Yeah, so the skin looks really good to me. Like, I don't know how it's reading on camera, but in person, if I looked at my own skin in the mirror, minus the lashes, the lips, and the brows, I would think that I just woke up and ha am having like a fantastic skin day. The brows, I think I kind of failed at the brows a little bit. I think I just kind of started off with the wrong shade and I, my brows just suck. So I like, if I'm not filling them all the way in, like I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I, I, what do I do with my hands? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so that's giving it away for me a little bit. The lash extensions and the lips, but the skin looks so good. Like my ass kind of wants to bring this camping and be like, oh, what, what? No, I just, I just woke up like this. Like I used Dermalogica. But uh, <laughs> I think this looks pretty dang good. What do you guys think? How does this look to you guys on camera? I think that Chrissy did a really, really good job. I think this is super fun and it was definitely a challenge to like, it's just like your impulse to just spackle it on since that's how I've always done my makeup. I've never really done makeup like this. It's never really been my specialty, but maybe I would start doing it a little more now that like I realize that I have to be patient with it. Like maybe I would do this now with this palette knowing that a little goes a long way and I can make the skin look way more natural. Cause I think the problem that I run into when I try and do like, no makeup makeup look is that I end up going in with a foundation that is covering too much and then I end up looking like I have a completely even skin tone and no dimension which ends up making me want to pile more makeup on because it almost looks like an unfinished like I primed my face and then did nothing else do you know what I mean so and inevitably because it's thicker the foundation it covers some of my eyebrows and I like and my lips and then I'm like okay I need more makeup but this RCMA palette did a great job at making my skin tone even but not like transforming it so much that it looks like not skin does that make sense like I don't know you can still see a bit of the uneven skin tone under this but it just looks so natural and so good to me that this is the way to go if you're gonna do no makeup makeup look. One thing that I might do to this, even as, if, let's do it right now actually. I'm gra I grabbed the Farsali Jelly Beam Illuminator in Glow Up. It is really cool looking. And dab this off and just lightly press this in. Cause I feel like, yeah, there we go. 
feel like they would still even have a little bit of highlight in the movies because their skin just looks so supple and nice. Like not a lot, like where it looks like you're like the tin freaking man, but you know, just a tiny bit. I also have a discount code for these brushes if you ever use them. Uh, or if you ever want to try them, but they also are sold in Walmart, which I find really useful because I love me some Walmart. Okay, and that's like all I would do with that. I just think it's a, it just adds the tiniest little bit of glow, which is really nice. And I think that is where I'm gonna stop here. I'm like proud of myself. <laughs> I feel like I did pretty good. I kept wanting like having the urge to like add more and add more, but I think overall this looks really good. And this is definitely like a look I would do. I think I need to work on the eyebrows, like I said. Um, but overall, I think this is pretty good. I challenge you guys to try to do the your makeup like the movies. And you can you don't necessarily need this RCMA palette to do this. I believe that you could achieve this with other makeup. Just have to be very light-handed. So if you guys do try this, make sure you tag Christy and I. We would love to see your final look. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any fun ideas for videos or products that you specifically want to see help me out in the comments below i feel like i've i've been off my game a little bit um not uploading so i'd love to get back into the groove and um put some content out that uh we all want to see and i've got a lot of new products that i really don't know which to use but anyways we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching